When I was coming to the U.S., I mean, I was not familiar with American football. Soccer was my favorite sport at the time, and I guess I might have liked basketball a little bit, being that, you know, my first gallery piece was uh, a drawing of a basketball player. But yeah, um, you know, when I first moved to the U.S., I actually was living with my extended family. And so my uncle, who I was staying with, had already been living in the U.S. for quite some time, and he was a you know pretty big football fan and you know being outside of philly he was an eagles fan and so yeah i remember though like when i would first kind of like you know be around in like the living room and he'd be watching games i'd be like Ugh, like what like what is this game that he's watching like i don't understand it like these guys are just running around in, like these helmets shoulder pads like i was completely disinterested like i honestly didn't like football at all during that time but um, then there was one Sunday, one uh, beautiful Sunday afternoon after church. Um, you know, my family and I, we went to Famous Dave's Barbecue in Philly. And I, the reason I remember like this moment so distinctly is because I realized that like right after this day was when I became like insanely like obsessed with football. So yeah, basically I just remember, you know, we were sitting in the restaurant waiting uh, you know, I think we had ordered our food and we were waiting, uh, you know, for the food to get back to us and everything. And I remember like, you know, obviously at all restaurants, they have, you know, the TV screens. And I remember, uh, you know, seeing the Minnesota Vikings and the Cincinnati Bengals playing a game. And what was the date? It was it was December 13, 2009. At the time, I didn't know who the teams were because I had no familiarity with the game of football. But I just remember like looking at the Bengals uniforms and I was like, wow those are like really cool looking like you know we have like the tiger team versus like this other purple team and so i think it's funny that it's actually like the uniform design that initially got me into the game of football because honestly like maybe if it was some other like i don't know maybe if it was like the browns or something <laughs> versus like a different team that had like some ugly jerseys um i maybe i wouldn't be uh you know have been so so much drawn into the game and yeah i just remember thinking like oh wow this is interesting this is cool and then from that moment on i was i was completely hooked but um, yeah, back to my, you know, creative journey, it was clear that my interest in drawing and football were peaking at the same time. And so the result of that was I literally didn't like draw any other subject matter outside of football from like fourth grade through eighth grade. And I think another factor that played into me being so obsessed with like drawing and creating NFL players is that my parents at the time uh, did not allow me to play youth football. Um, so I think because I wasn't actually able to play the game of football, I, you know, another way for me to kind of live out my fantasy of, you know, being involved with football was to be able to use my creative abilities to create all these NFL players. So when I first started doing these drawings, my method was to go to fathead.com, find a cool pose of a player and then find a blank piece of paper, draw that player on the paper and then cut it out and then paste it on my wall. So. I have a bunch of uh, little players posted up. There are currently 105 different player drawings on my wall. And the grand total of drawings that I ended up making was 330. And so the rest of them exist in this football binder. Um, there's a ton of little sketches in here. And the thing is like, if you want a general sense of like, how obsessed I was with drawing these players. Like all the drawings in this binder aren't even on like plain sheets of paper. They're all on like scrap pieces of paper that I was getting from like my classmates um, in class. If any of them had spare paper, I was like, yo, just let me have it. Uh, Cause you know, I do all these little drawings on them. So on like the back of these pieces of paper are like homework assignments, like, and also another really cool thing that happened with my um, little football drawings is that there was one time where I actually sent a drawing that I made of JJ Watt sacking Peyton Manning and I mailed it to the Houston Texans facility and about a year later after I mailed it to him um, I ended up getting a signed um, I don't know if you can see the signature Lighting, but yeah I ended up getting a signed um, photo from JJ Watt's um, foundation which was I mean that was super cool as like you know a kid in middle school to receive a signed autograph from one of the best defensive players to ever you know play play the game that was definitely one of the coolest things to come out of me doing all the 
um, you know, little NFL player drawings. So when you see all my NFL illustrations now on social media, you can kind of see where I, I started from. Hundreds and hundreds of iterations of these drawings just to, you know, keep, you know, working on my craft and becoming as excellent of a of an artist as I could be. And like I said, from this whole four year, five year period that I was very invested in drawing, I really didn't draw anything outside of uh, football or NFL players. So even early on, I was already kind of choosing the niche, my creative niche that I was going to create in. But it wasn't really until high school that I began to kind of expand my creative interests and create things outside of the world of sports and specifically football.